Hello! Um, we're going to be doing a video about um, things that people shouldn't say uh, when they start dating someone and just like dating tips in general. Okay. Okay. What girls shouldn't do at all. Preference, personal preference, is that girls shouldn't laugh during sex. Why? Like, yeah, but something. what if something happens sometimes and you and you don't want to make it awkward by not laughing? That's what I mean. That's, no, a, like, that's the reason sometimes girls laugh during sex, because you do something and it's like, oh, if I don't laugh, then it might be weird, so I'll be like, hey, hey, hey. No, like, I mean, okay, uh, for, for example, right, say a funny part happens, you don't want the air in there, it gets pushed out due to pressure. A funny part happens, just go, just get on with it. Don't go like, ha <laughs> No, just... Keep going. I'm just not gonna say anything. It ruins Strider. I think that you should never, ever, ever talk about exes because it's just disrespectful and it shows that you're still like thinking about them. Like for example, I went out with someone and um, the guy just constantly said things like, "Yeah, me and my ex watched this movie once," or "Yeah, me and my ex were here once." It's just like, okay, well, why don't you go and be with her then? You know, and and it's just annoying and it makes me hate people. Yeah. Another one is uh, don't use death as a as a forward to be nice. I had a girl once who used her grandfather's death as a way to get it in. Well, like, well, like she, uh, you know, she called me up and said, "I'm going through a hard time. My granddad just died." And it's like, so you reckon sex is the last thing on on someone's mind? That is like retarded. I think if you're, if you're gonna be like hinting that you're DTF, don't bring that kind of things up because that just shows you're a fucking dick. And he's a fucking badge because he's gonna take it. This is like just for everyone. Hygiene, seriously. I think I'm. I feel sorry for people that actually need to be like reminded about things. Um, I think it's like it's just gross. Like, you know, you wake up. Wash your face, you brush your teeth, you clean your ears. Um, it's just gross when you're like chilling at a restaurant um, with with someone that you're with, and you notice something like they have eye boogers in their eyes still, and you're like, God damn, do not wash your face in the morning. Or things like they're in the car and you're doing like romantic glances, and you look over and they've got Hogwarts living in their ears. It's just gross, and it's embarrassing for yourself as well because you're like, God. Ah. You, you want to be clean, you want to smell pretty and look pretty um, when you're like on a date with someone, just some kid. But still, like, um, yeah, I just think people need to be reminded of that because sometimes they go on dates and wear shirts that smell like they've been lying in bed while they were jerking off or something. So, yeah, hygiene. It's also not too much hygiene. Not too much hygiene because, like, it's bad. So before a date, you're about to leave, and you're just like, not always. Just, like just I like would, a, okay, that can smell that. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know like what you mean. Like sometimes you candy. go, candy. Like a special. I need to open the window. Um. Nice. I love that smell. Okay. Um. Like I've okay. Like, I know what he means because sometimes like I hug people, and I'm like, whoa. Like it's like they showered in their perfume, and it's really gross. Guys yeah. don't wear perfume. They wear cologne. Whatever. Which is French for cool. Yeah. Act drunk. When you haven't told someone um, that you like them yet and you decide to either act drunk or get really drunk and then approach them and be like, hey, you know, I've always liked you. <laughs> it, it's scary and it, it, it just freaks people out. You know what I mean? Yeah, you did that. Uh, no. We were at Plastic or whatever, ba the bang venue, and you were like, the next day you were like, I was so drunk last night, and, you, and I was just like, what, you, you said you like me? But we didn't say that. Yeah, but this, is, this is talking from personal experience. I don't think you should do that. Yeah, I've done that, but I don't think you should. Look where it's gotten now. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I just, I don't think it's a good idea. Yes, I've done it, but it's like, I just think it made me look very sloppy. And I was actually, I was not drunk, you little shit. I was just very happy. I was drunk. Yeah, okay, whatever. Shut up. Um, what was I gonna say? When guys decide that it's totally fine to be Shrek and they go,
they spit everywhere like a fugly camel and they readjust their penis and then try to hold your hand. It's fucking gross. It's, it's not cool, that's what they think, it's cool. They'll be sitting there going like, you know, oh yeah, I've been to this club before. <laughs> it's like, no, don't do that. Just go, I've been here before, yeah, it's nice. Why, if you have to, because that just shows you're interested in being with her at that place. Yeah, I, I just don't ever understand why guys need to do that. Like, you don't need to fucking spit out another country, like, it's not cool, it's not sexy. I don't know why you think that's sexy. On a guy's standpoint though, sometimes our dicks do get stuck to our balls, and it's a bit, it's just, it just feels, so we just have to pick it up and shift it. But like I said, she said, or like she said, it's rude to do that. Go to the bathroom. Yeah, because we don't want to be like, what the fuck? Because he got chlamydia or something. You know what I mean? Crab. It, it, crab is. Crabby, 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 crabby. It's a crabby dance. Crabby, crabby, crabby. <laughs> okay. Um, just another thing from experience. For example, when um, I was once dating a guy, and he was like, let's go out for lunch, and I put on a nice dress. So he was like, that's a bit dressy, isn't it? Why oh, are you so dressed up? I really don't understand why people need to like. How do I say it? Like be forward. Yeah, you don't you don't really need quickly. to like point that out about something like yeah, sometimes girls like no and you go sometimes people have ugly days and yeah, you wanna like dress up a little bit to feel cute. That's no reason to be like, oh what the Just because you're wearing like thongs and shorts and nothing else doesn't mean that I can't look good. You know what I mean? Yeah. The guy does dress up and if the girl just uh, yeah, the girl will do the proper thing, which is what I do with her. If she's all dressed up, I'll go Ooh. No. Or something, you know, just something subtle like that. Oh, Don't oh, be like, oh, oh, oh my god. Yes, that's when guys over compliment. It's just not guys in general, like everyone, you know. Like a girl can like, I, I, What about you? Like, what do you think if a girl comes up to you and she, she starts being like, oh, I really like your hair, and then she's like, I like your shirt, and blah, blah, blah. Like, don't you feel, don't you start to, I just bad. Um, don't you start to feel a bit uncomfortable when um, someone over compliments you too much? It's like, okay, I get it, you did yet, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, it's, I don't think they want to have sex if they compliment you or if they start complimenting you like, oh my god, you got such a nice body. Obviously, you're dressing up because you want to impress, right? Dress to impress. Um, so automatically you know I don't need the compliment because I've dressed to impress you. But it's, I don't know. Um, nice. the only reason I'm saying this is because, um, like, yeah, everybody likes a compliment. It's really nice when someone knows they're wearing this or that or whatever. But when someone, like, especially, like, I notice guys do this very often, they come up and they don't really know what to say. They're obviously kind of, like, either going to drop the would you like a drink line, but instead sometimes they pick to do the whole, oh, I love your hair. Oh, I like your dress. <laughs> And I think if they think it's like a chance for them to get all touchy feely, and it's yeah, it just it's really gross. Um, it it might work on sluts, um, but usually it's just not a very good thing to do because it makes girls feel uncomfortable. It's like oh yeah, cool. Like first compliments, like oh yeah, cool. But when it's like too much, it's like whoa, okay, I get it. Oh my god, get away from me. It's it scares its way. Stupid. I would say compliment. It's in the compliment range, but also probably counts pickup lines, stupid ones. She's had one recently, where a guy came up to her and said, "Oh my God, you used to be blonde, yeah, like ditzy and shit." And she was like, "Huh?" And he goes, "Cause you're dark now, so that means you're intelligent." That's the. That's an insult. Yeah, I still can't believe someone said that to me. Like, guys think it's really cute to sometimes come up to girls. This is especially guys that haven't told the girl they like yet. Random things like they'd come up to you and be like, "Oh, you see it." moi there's extensions in there, and they are in the right place right now. Please don't fuck that up. Make sure it's nice for people. Like, oh, pretty. But just don't touch our hair. It's really annoying. Especially when I wear this hat, people come up to me and think I'm cute, and they go, "Oh, look at that hat!" Stop fucking touching my hat. Or they take it off and wear it for themselves. Eye contact. I think that's really important because, uh, like, not all the time. You know, you don't go. I really like you. I just think if you're hanging out with someone, don't be like looking at the ground all the time and like looking away because it's like, why are you hanging out with me? You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Yeah, but you never make like that. Yes, I do. You do when you're like drunk. You keep looking at people. Oh, I don't know. It just freaks me out when I'm like, hey, let's go. And the main tip ever. Out of all of this stuff, tips and stuff, 
I think the main thing is to, even though not everyone is confident, no one can be like, hey, with me. Um, the most important thing is um, try to be, like, act confident because you could really miss out on an opportunity of telling someone you like them. Like, I've had that where I really liked someone and I didn't tell them. Then I found out that they liked me too. But guess what? Now they're like, um, he's in a relationship and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, it's um, important to, like when you approach someone, instead of talking to them like, oh hey, yeah, you're really cool. Yeah, we should hang out and go to this book club you always go to. Like, if you hang out with them and you act like you're hanging out with them because you're interested in something they're interested in, but you're not. The point is, just don't beat around the bush. Is that what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, don't touch it there. Um, what? You're talking about... You just... You just be honest with them and be like, I think you're really cool and I think that we should chill out. Instead of being too sleazy or... Um, just going nowhere with uh, the conversation while you're trying to be like, I like you and I think that we should hang out. Just be honest because like, they might be like, oh cool, yeah I'm hanging out with this person because they like to go play soccer as well or something like that. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Yeah, like, just be yourself and if you like them just say it. If you're not, well we're, you're, we're you're, in our 20s now, she's soon to be 20, I'm but we're in our 20s and you're not in high school anymore. You like someone? Fucking tell them. They say no. Guess what? No. You'll find someone else soon. If you like someone, don't lose the opportunity. Because you might miss out and you will regret it when you're fifty. You'll be like, "Hot oh, damn it! I used to like this." Not really. Place. I think you'll find someone else by fifty. It's not like there's no, one but, person. No, but no, but you're gonna room. remember this one person that you used to be like, "Oh wow, you know, I really liked this person, but I never got to tell them." And then I found out they liked me too, but they married with kids now, so. Yeah, and then you're probably a millionaire, getting prosies every day. But, yeah. Anyway, I hope that makes sense, and you should just act confident, and just go with it, and don't waste time. Don't fuck about. <laughs>